welcome to the Den of Tools. Honey ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And as you can see by up on the screen here, we're here to talk about Amazon. Now, Amazon has some really amazing stuff. They, they've really changed the name of the online retail game, but they're changing it even more. And let me give you some quick backstory on kind of what is going on here. So Amazon does this thing where when they see that there is a, a market segment that's really booming, they go, you know what? We, not only do we like selling that, we want to own that. Yeah, and that's where they came up with this thing called Amazon Basics. And we're going to talk about tools and much more, but uh, wait till the end because I've got something that's really going to set your hair uh, on end and make you start wondering, you know, just how is stuff like this legal sometimes? So anyway, you, get, you have to wait till the end for that, that part of the story. But let's jump into it with at least the tools part, okay? So I was cruising along over on the Amazons the other day and I ran across this and it's not surprising, at least to me, to run across on Amazon somebody reselling Harbor Freight products. I see it, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, someone's reselling for a pretty penny or something. But if you look closely, that says Amazon Basics down there at the bottom. But it sure looks like something. If you've been a shopper at Harbor Freight, you've seen this packaging before. Now this is at $40, this is the high speed uh, you know, the hardened metal. This isn't the basic warrior brand one like you'd see for $20. But uh, Harbor Freight does indeed sell some high-end cobalt drill bits, 29 piece for $64. Now that's a good bit cheaper, even if you t tag in the, not the 64, the Amazon prices, but even if you tag in uh, the 25% off coupon, because of course, you know, rule number one at Harbor Freight is always shop with a coupon. Even down to the, uh, the the conversion chart printed on the uh, <laughs> on the packaging there's a lot of the same kind of thing here going on but and it doesn't end there now let's take a look over this of course amazon basics dead blow hammers you've got one two and three pound hammers in the nice you know day glow orange we got the 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 checkered pattern down there out for the grip the oval area where the logo is going to go and we look over on Harbor to Freights and wow, that's, that's pretty much the same thing. Now, granted, there's a lot of orange dead blow hammers out there. But I mean, look at this, the casting mark. Can you see this? The casting mark right there, that little circle, it's in, it's in the same spot. All right, <laughs> let's keep going here. Pliers, all right. Amazon, these are all Amazon Basics. You see this right here? Amazon Basics. This is not Amazon just selling it. This is their own new house brand. They're trying to become the new online Harbor Freight, it would look like. So you've got your, uh, what is it? We got five piece here, five piece plier set, uh, needle nose, long nose, needle nose, uh, side cutters, linemen, uh, slip joint, and uh, sorry, I always call them channel X tongue grooves. And the, uh, the, if you look at the grips, you, we've got the, the kind of uh, rubber with the, the slight you know gray trim right there, the secondary color. Now the colors kind of change, but if we look over on Harbor the Freight, this is a six piece because they added in a smaller pair of needle nose, but we've got the same kind of grips, the same kind of trim, tongue groove, side cut, long nose, slip joint, and lineman. You know, we're looking at $12 there. Uh, versus thirty dollars. Well, the the Amazon is definitely not winning in the uh, the choice there. Now, <laughs> how about tool organizers? Well, you get your basic, you know, compartmentalized, you know, tool holder over on Amazon for twenty bucks. Harbor Freight got some gets some beat at, at six bucks, and the little trays instead of just being uh, you know sectioned out, they actually pop out. Now you can't change them quite the same. You can mix them mix them around and stuff, but you can't like change the size of the compartments like you can with the Amazon one. So that's a win there for the Amazon one. I don't know if it's a, you know, three times the price win. Uh, now also, look at, we got side snips here, uh, aviation snips. And look at the plastic. This is where it really comes and you can tell. Look at, we got two-tone, uh, the, the color matching the curve there, the little lanyard uh, thing down there. Uh, we go over and we look on Harbor Freight and look at this. 
same two-tone, same groove, same lanyard, same style. Now, the <laughs> Harbor Freight uses the uh, uh, slotted head screws, whereas Amazon has the, the Phillips head there. So that's clearly an, an upgrade in for Amazon. Um, and there, I mean, there's other things. They're not a, completely identical. I'm, I'm not saying, but they're definitely sharing a lot of the same DNA, probably coming out of the same factories, to be honest. All right, now let's, we got one more. Now this one, we see these all over the place. The Amazon Basics uh, folding hex key set, three key set there. And then the Harbor Freight, at least Harbor Freight color codes them so you can tell the difference. In either case, I definitely would avoid these like the plague. These kind of things, they have a tendency to work themselves loose and then the keys go flying. You never find them again. Anyway, but the, enough of the them trying to copy Harbor Freight exactly. Let's take a look at some of the other stuff that they're selling. You know, we we're talking ratcheting wrenches the other day. Well, look at this. This is a this a 20-piece metric and SAE. Now there are skips in this, a couple, but not a ton. But uh, you got it with a roll-up canvas bag. So we have uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 in metric, and quarter inch through three quarter in SAE. They look fairly decent. Like, they're not really oversized. You can see on some of the really cheap ones that the ratcheting area will be really oversized. The, the open end will be oversized as well. It doesn't have any teeth in here, which would be nice to give you that extra bite. Uh, but again, you know, it, for the price now, these, and of course, they have lasered on their Amazon Basics, as we all know, that laser etching there. That won't last. But, you know... I don't think you'll be, be worried about it losing the fact that it says Amazon Basics on there. But for $50 to get a pretty much entire set of ratcheting wrenches, uh, other than when the gear wrench stuff goes on sale around the holidays, that's a pretty good deal. We got Amazon Basics tape measures. Now, this is, I didn't think, the best deal out there. This reminds me of an older style I've seen around for years. Uh, this is their 25-foot for... Twelve ninety nine. That's even more expensive than the the Bauer set, which is we. I'm pretty sure based off the Lufkin, uh, which is a, a brand that I'm actually rather pleased with. Uh, but you know they're they're really expanding the offerings now. This is interesting. Precision slotted Phillips and Torx head screwdriver set here. And it comes with all the bits as well as the uh, the actual precision uh, screwdrivers themselves, and that's all for twenty one forty one. And we jump over here and we get the Amazon Basics 173-piece general household home repair and mechanics tool sets. You know, the bear, I'm not a big fan of these. There's often a lot of filler in these cases. And let's cl click over here. But as we can see, you know, there is some here. We got some filler in the center, but it's not terribly excessive. It's more than I would like to see. Definitely, we got some more filler right there. But it's a, you know, comprehensive little set for you know just getting started kind of stuff it's not again i'm not a big fan of these sets i know some of you like them i'm just throwing it out there because i know that you somebody's gonna ask well what about the sets so they do have you know full sets there let's look at this torque wrench now i've seen torque wrenches like this all over now this is slightly different than the one you'd see at harbor freight uh in that theirs is fully rounded where this has the flattened uh, upper on it, and, but I've seen it at Rural King. I've seen it at uh, a bunch of other resellers, very similar to this. Uh, Forty dollars. I would say that they're typically in that kind of price range. Let's see the quarter inch one. Now that's unique. I haven't seen that before. I kind of, I kind of like the orange. It seems pretty nice. We come up here. This, is, of course, again, this is your click style torque wrench. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have seen these before. I can't remember where I've seen them. Uh, Thirty-one fifty-five for that, and for the three eighths, we're back to this style again. So they're trying, they're trying to be your online, you know, tool parts store. Uh, we covered the, those before. We got Crow's Foot uh, wrench set here, SAE fourteen piece, for fifty-three dollars. Again, I would have liked to have seen something a little bit more advanced in the open end there, but still. You got to do it. You got to. Why? Why do you need a crow's foot there? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing the point there. But uh, 
let's keep going. And how about this? They're going even after going after Nepex uh, with the uh, the Amazon Basics Quick Release Groove Joint Pliers 12 inch for 15.49. It's the same kind of foam and rubber two tone handle like you see on their basic stuff. Um, doesn't seem to be the highest end quality, but it, it seems to I mean for the price 15.49. Uh, doesn't seem terribly bad. It's got decent ratings, four and a half stars out of 58 reviews. Of course, this is, you know, <laughs> their their own reviews here. So uh, I'm not saying that they would change them at all, but I'm not saying they wouldn't. The By comparison, let's look over here at the Lola tools here, made in Taiwan. It looks pretty nice there for $21.99. Now, in case you missed it, in case you haven't seen it, Harbor Freight recently launched their own version. Yeah, look at this in the Doyle line. And this is their own version, 12-inch uh, water pump. Uh, they call them water pump pliers. I've heard them called that before also. Uh, the, they, they're they coming, they have three of them in 8, 10, and 12 inches as well. Uh, fast push button, jaw adjustment, blah, 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 self-locking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, you know, I've got some of the Doyle stuff. I'm going to need to do a comparison between the Doyle and, like, some of the Tecton and some of the other name brand stuff just to give people an idea of what all is out there and uh, how they're all measuring up. Now, let's get back into the story I was telling you about before. So what Amazon likes to do is not only do they find a market and then invest in it because they've got all the sales data. They've got all the behind the scenes stuff. They can see when somebody clicks on a page, whether they buy it or not. And they have algorithms to put together why that person probably didn't buy it. So then we have products like this, the June oven. Now I realize this isn't a tool, but stay, stay with me here. I think you'll find some, this story kind of interesting. So this was one of those Kickstarter kind of ideas where we have this brilliant idea. We're going to come out with this, you know, an oven that can cook like a, a professional chef, even though you're a moron. And it it has, an, of course, it has an app. What doesn't have an app? It's a smart oven. And it's a convection oven, convection toaster oven. So it's got a fan, blows the heat around. It's got an LCD panel up front. It connects to your cell phone. It replaces an air fryer, dehydrator, slow cooker, broiler, toaster, warming, all that. Um, it's got a built-in camera so it can actually see what's going on and figure out if, if the food needs to be cooked more or less, as well as I believe you can check it on your phone. But it, it, you basically, you just tell it what you're going to cook. You can scan it with your phone. You can do all sorts of stuff. It's got a heat probe that goes in it so it can check internal heat. And it takes all the, you know, judgment call, all the skill out of cooking. You just, you know, to, as Ronco would say, set it and forget it. And so, you know, these are usually typically something that people invest in via, you know, a Kickstarter. Basically, they pre-purchase this kind of stuff. Well, another company invested in this, Amazon. They do this sometimes. They invest in these companies to help bring them to market. Well, they had all that data, and then they decided to launch their own smart oven. So the June was selling on Amazon. No longer anymore. Go figure. And they were... They were competing then against Amazon's own smart oven that came out later. So Amazon had all the sales data. They had the background data from being an investor. So they had they could see the books. They could see where the profit is. They could see where the cost is. They have probably better contacts with manufacturing. So they reached out to somebody and said, we want something to do this. They're selling for half the price of, so the gourmet package is 700. The standard package is 500. The Amazon is 250 and that comes with a free echo dot this is this is ridiculous so not only can you scan it do all this stuff you can talk to it amazon you know alexa preheat the oven oh, i've just set off everyone's she who shall not be named device I'm, I'm sorry the bear's sorry but anyway talk about holy conflict of interest batman and on top of it when you go on amazon when you go scroll down, usually you get met with a whole slew of, hey, you should buy this instead. As you can see here on, on the Amazon device, clearly not. You have to get all the way down here to get compared to these other ovens. Like let's look at the Tavala SmartStream, which is another competitor in this market. 
If we look at their Amazon listing, I bet if we scroll down just a few, we will get, oh, look at this, sponsored products related to this item. And there's 54 pages that I can scroll through there. But don't like that not enough for you. They have a second section in here, like or dislike for instant recommendations. And they've got six more out of a page out of page one of 10 other recommendations here for you. So the, the poor June, who's a startup company trying to struggle, think they've they've hit it big with Amazon backing them only to get stabbed in the proverbial back by Amazon themselves. Talk about some shady, shady business dealings. Now, I'm not in any way saying that that is what they're trying to do to Harbor Freight or anything like that. Do I think they're trying to grab a segment of Harbor Freight's business? Oh, yeah. Harbor Freight, but even more than Harbor Freight, how about Tekton? How about Capri? How about all the other tool companies that have you know made their bones now becoming these tool truck alternatives by selling on Amazon? And now you have Amazon themselves getting into the ring saying, you know what? That's a great idea. Here, let us show you how to do it. Uh, I don't know. The bear gets worked up about this. You know, I'm a champion of small businesses and I like to see small businesses succeed because I think that's the real backbone, the real heart of the American economy. Anyway, <laughs> sorry to put a downer on your day there, but if you are looking for some inexpensive tools, Amazon might be your go-to places, <laughs> especially considering the whole, you know, lockdown thing going on right now, you know, heading out to the stores may not be the best choice for you, but you know, at least you can still get some of the tools that maybe you need. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, come on, say it with me. Shine on.